Yo, what's up, everybody? Hitman BK, aka Brian, the OGs. We're back on the house and we're late. Really sorry. We're actually recording this at 1 43 p.m. on Friday. That's why the 10 a.m. one did not go. But you know what? Life happens. I was on vacation, went to Colorado, came back. I am no longer refreshed. <laughs> it's a very short lived refreshness. <laughs> Vacations are the opposite. We come back, you're like, cool, cool, cool. I have a ton of work to do. <laughs> Pretty much. I have been <laughs> incredibly busy. Um, but at the same time, you know, Starfield came out. So I was really looking forward to having this conversation with Freddie here. I think we have lots to say about Starfield. But first, as always, well, yeah. I'm here with Freddie. Freddie, how are you doing? Man, yeah, I took a vacation and now I need a vacation from the vacation because I came back and I was like, cool, I'm exhausted. I missed my bed um, and I have a ton of work to do. Oh, also, That's right. we you went to the podcast. beach. I did, which is great. But then, you know, not. I know. Cause... Your vacation tied to the end of my vacation is why this podcast is late because <laughs> yeah, we, exactly. we recorded two. We recorded two to be on time. But then I got back and then he got back and then I was like, oh, hey, it's Friday. <laughs> this week just went by real quick. Um, so we're not going to waste I mean, also, any time though. We'll get right into it. What's up? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Freddie, what? what? What do you have to say? What do you have to say for uh, yourself? Just, 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 just want to make sure. Can you, can you stop? <laughs> stop. Uh, podcast, the pod. Just remember to subscribe yes. and follow and tweet and do all the things that cool, awesome people do. Yeah. Uh, Especially if you, if you see, like it. I, ha I need a haircut. And I need, does. You know, and the only way that this happens is we have to hit a thousand subscribers. Which is, <laughs> we're, on, we're on the cusp. So we are. We're close. Um, and we also gave away a copy of uh, Starfield, right? To one of we the did. followers. We gave a, we gave away a copy was? of the, uh, uh, yeah, it was Swaggy. We gave a copy away to Swaggy, who was the, uh, was the premium edition. So he got the, uh -oh. she, is it he, she, he, she, 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 you know what? We're just going to, we're not going to identify <laughs> because <laughs> I don't want to go down that road. Their life, okay. Um, but yes, yeah, so I got that. So I was, uh, that was, that was really exciting. And I always love trying to get back. So that was fun. But you know what? I think that's actually a perfect segue to just say like, we're about to talk some Starfield people. So sit back and grab your partner and your popcorn and let's do this okay we are here we are back. It is time yes. to talk Starfield. We have it up. Also, it's underneath me. Yes, you can see two of me. There's a tiny little box of me. This is my live stream, actually, uh, from, I think, last night. So every now and again, I will be on every now and again. I try to get on Monday through Friday and do some uh, do some light live streaming. It's only like two, three hours. Just hang out with people from the community and show off some of the games that, you know, we're playing here with the OGs. But this is a rare occasion. Because I play a lot of things. Honestly, there's a whole conversation we could get into about the sheer amount of games and how anxiety driven I am by that. But we're not going to. Um, but it's not very often. Anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> lots of caffeine, lots of coffee. Um, but there's not a lot of times that I, uh, I'm honestly today, at least back in the day, a lot more. But today, there's not a lot of times that me and Freddie are uh are like aligned in the games we're playing and almost kind of at the same at the same point i think i have what 30 something hours in starfield where are you right now um i think i'm at like 10 so you're you're significantly ahead but okay um yeah you you got remember you started playing uh I'm you sorry, well you were edition. on vacation yeah and yeah. you went you were on vacation so but can we just but, start by saying yes where are we starting on this bohemoth i have so much i to mean say. <laughs> so first off just bravo it's a great game i, I mean you know me man. i'm not i'm not one of those people that like loves you know the, i think the only game I've, I've beat that they've created fully most the most recent one was probably fallout 3 like 4 wasn't really my jam <clears throat> um, i don't think you have you even played skyrim i played like 10 minutes no. <laughs> i was just like no it's just not my jam it's just First of all, it's not something I'm not really into the fantasy yeah, nonsense, you're not. but yeah, yeah, but yeah. This this feels just I mean, it feels good. It does not hold your hand. It is difficult, but once you understand the systems, it's uh, it's like 
I think it's funny that a lot of the p- things that people gripe about I actually love. Like the fast travel really? is like God sent because there's just like <laughs> imagine going on the planet and then going halfway across the planet, 2,000, 4,000 meters, and then be like, okay, cool. Now I have to walk all the way back. Oh, dude. Or like you're sick or whatever. Like Not, fast no travel back to the. Yeah, like fast travel to the plane, fast travel to the planet, like, yes, please. But they also have the option to, like, you know, fly around and the. I mean, I don't know. I can go on and on. I love it. I think it's going to be one of those games that I play for a very long time, probably step away and come back. Um, It has legs, man. It has legs for days. So... Yeah, you? I mean, I, I'm going to have to agree. Um, I'm the same way. I've played all of Bethesda games, though. So I have played Morrowind. I have played Skyrim. I have played Fallout 4 and Fallout 3 and Elder Scrolls Online and Fallout 76. So I've played them all. Um, but similar to Freddy, I've actually only ever beat Fallout 3. Uh, I thought Fallout 4... I thought Fallout 4 was okay. Um, I fell off before the end. I have no idea why. I honestly can't remember. It's been a minute. Uh, but I can tell you that at some point I got bored and I just never ended up finishing it. And then Skyrim. Skyrim. I have replayed Skyrim like I don't even know. 15 times. I've modded it. I've played it unmodded. I've played it modded. I've played it on PC. i played it on Xbox. I mean, I think I've given more money to Skyrim than most people have. And yet I've never beat that game. And a lot of it is just because... I, 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 the meandering in Skyrim is just crazy. I mean, so many people love it for that, but like I get, this is going to sound almost like, like what's the word I'm looking for? This is going to sound hypocritical because of how Starfield works. But for whatever reason, like when it's just a full planet and you can walk wherever you want and the fast travel isn't kind of like how it is in Starfield, something about that eventually like, like makes me fall off. It's kind of like Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It's like, it's huge. There's so much to do. There is a lot of side quests and you'll come upon them. But at some point, like all that traveling on in one by in like just one giant world for whatever reason, I eventually just fall off of it. So all of that is, is just to say like for Starfield, it's systems for me, they work. Yeah, they work really well for me. I really like it. I think I was telling you, I think uh, if we're if we're coming right out the gates on just actual thoughts on the game to start with, it's going to end up being like my favorite Bethesda game. I, I mean, I, I think I can say that now. I'm 30 hours in and I, am, I have no intention of stopping. Um, the systems do get in the way sometimes, but those systems are also, like you mentioned, are curbing the things that I had a harder time with in their previous games. Cause like, it, it, let's just like, if you're on, we'll just use Mars. Like if you're on Mars, right? Like you could go around Mars, you can search Mars, you can go into the hub of Mars. There's mis- main missions in Mars and there's sub factions missions in Mars. And at some point though, if you're like, man, I'm tired of being on Mars. Like I can just whoop, pull my map up and then I can go to a whole other star system on a whole different biome that not, that doesn't feel like any of the content is being like reused and it, it just, I don't know, I'm like, oh, I'm in a whole different game now. And like, maybe there's something else here or something like, I don't, the, the, the Bethesda formula in a space game just it is works. just working. It's just working for yeah. me. It, yeah. it, it's working for me more so than it has in any of their previous games. So I mean, the scope of the game is just huge, right? Like that's, that's the thing. Like you go in every planet. It's not, it's not like how No Man's Sky, which is randomized. It's a full, like every planet that is habitable has a story has yeah. people like you it's can got handcrafted exactly. there's handcrafted things there it's it's awesome like i literally was trying to do that that quest you're telling me about for the gear uh oh, the mantis gear the mantis gear and on the way you know start uh hopping i'm showing star this, hopping like, right now actually <laughs> yeah um i i met this like uh spacecraft that is from earth the original earth from 200 years ago and they want to ha- inhabit the the planet that i just you know landed on not landed on but like you know uh, the, the, the system you were in yeah. yeah and so they're like hey can you do us a favor and go down there and talk to, you know negotiate and um yeah just like stuff like that like that's a side quest that's not just a you know it's a whole side quest and you know i I went and then you have to find you know you can spend two three hours just on that one quest because they want 
But I can so, already hear people saying too now, like, well, dude, that's no so different than Fallout. Or that's just like Skyrim. You can come across a town and then if somebody's in a burning building. And I completely understand that. All right? I know. That's what I'm saying. I, that's what I almost <laughs> would say. Like, I don't know why. And just like I wouldn't criticize anyone who says they love Skyrim. I'd be like, yeah, great. And like, for whatever reason, the way the formula is set up here is for the first time in any Bethesda game. Just like your little story, it just works for me. I'm just like, this is dope. Like, okay, yeah, I'll go down to that planet and help you out. Like, and maybe it is because it's space. I don't know. I think it's for for, for sure space. And I'm, you know, the other thing is, like every other best game, um, you can go and be a murderous asshole. You can. <laughs> and that's where we're tomorrow. Maybe it's, it, it could be to- the creation engine too. It just looks good too, which helps. Like I am a snobby yeah. graphics guy, so. Oh, it looks fantastic. Way better than I thought it would be. It's, I mean, yeah. that was kind of the first, uh, you know, census was like, this looks like crap. But Microsoft stepped in and said, yeah, no, you need to no, make this cre- better. I don't know. Creation Engine but 2 just looks amazing. So it, it does. And it plays well. So I'm happy for, you know, uh, that team. They worked their asses off 20 plus years. I mean, that's insane. Like, yeah. Um, so we got to get into it then. I'll, I'll yeah. kick this off. This is where I think I'll start. All right. I have watched a lot of stuff. I watched a lot of, uh, I, I, I had a lot of work I was doing. So since I couldn't play the game. I was listening to people talk about the game because it's such an interesting, like you've heard what we have to say about the game. Maybe you've already backed out because you're like, Jesus, Microsoft shills. I'm really not. And, and I'm not even a Bethesda shill. Like I, I, you can even ask Freddie. I came into this game thinking I was going to hate it. Um, I do not like, I, I will preface. I do not like No Man's Sky. I have played a little bit of Star Citizen. I can't stand it. I do not like space sim games. I'm not interested in simulators uh they bore me that's why i couldn't really get into no man's sky um and i looked at starfield w- in a negative way where a lot of people were looking at it i guess in a positive way thinking like dude this is gonna be like no man's sky but better and i was like oh for the love of god please don't be a space sim um and so since it really it i don't i don't really feel like they went that route um and there have been people who clearly don't like this game because it's not a space sim but what i wanted to get to is while i was working listening to a lot of comments I, I consider this both to be a negative and a positive. All right, don't you laugh at me. I'm trying to, I'm trying to form my thought here. <laughs> a lot of people who have reviewed the game, and I mean like a lot of big guys, so like Diablo uh, DM, who's a huge, uh, he's pretty big on YouTube. Um, Dr. Disrespect, he's pretty big on YouTube. Uh, and IGN, like I feel like all these people, and you look at their time to play, and they, some of them even say it. Uh, DM Diablo made a really good point. He was like, look, I played this game for 45 hours. This is a story game. I have beat the story. I feel like I can ha- I can make an adequate opinion about the game. And I was like, oh, man, okay, yeah, that's yeah, you make a good point. That was until I got to 30 hours in the game. I just got my first power um, that I started thinking, like, I don't think I don't you know, can. Spoiler, spoiler alert, you get powers. So. Oh, that's Anyways. not a spoiler anymore. That, that was leaked, like, so long ago. <laughs> But that's just to say, like, I it's it's a good and bad thing. Like, I think it's not really a good thing to say you need to put in work for this game to start to feel good. But at the same time, it's like it. it, But that's kind of the truth. It's a weird game because like they do like like but that's this thing is to take you, put you in a world and you're in it, right? Like that's how all their games are. So all of their games theoretically start horribly like uh, uh, Skyrim, which is everybody's favorite. You're literally on the back of a carriage and you're just watching things happen and then a dragon attacks. I mean, that's like the coolest part. But then after that, you're just like walking to a town with some dude you don't know. Like that's the beginning of Skyrim. Um, And what Fallout 4, you're just at home taking care of like a baby and looking at yourself in the mirror. Like none of them have like these like incredible starts. But what the difference is, is like once they start, then it opens up and you're like opened up into this world. Whereas I think Starfield's beginning is interesting because like you're essentially I think we were talking about this um, earlier today, Freddie. You are a miner. So just like every other Bethesda game, you're a nobody who becomes a space explorer. But that nature of being a space explorer inside of Bethesda formula can lead you to be pretty bored if you don't know what you are doing or understand how the systems work because you can walk around a planet for like 10 hours and get literally nothing done or not understand how space travel and fast travel work and get nothing done. So it doesn't hold your hand, right? Like it doesn't. It doesn't. You have to just do. And there's so many systems, right? Like that's so the many. other side of it is like <clears throat> you can spend 
a uh, hundred hours just in space, just yeah. flying from planet to planet and doing space battles and doing like it's a game that you can jump in and figure out, you know what? I just want to go to mine. I want to mindlessly mine, go to yeah. a planet <laughs> and just mine. You can do that. Or you can go and just be a murderous, crazy person, go to a planet, and just start murdering everybody and become like this legendary bad guy. Like you can do all these things like I did when I went to Mars. I went you and did, killed and a bunch of people. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I just want to see what happened. And basically, now I have this ginormous bounty on my head, and I can't land on any planets until I. I think my bounty is like seventy five thousand credits, like something insane. So, um, I mean, look at the end of the day, it's it's a game no like no other. Like literally, there is no is, other game yeah. like this. I can't think of any other game. It's, I can combine a, yeah. a bunch of different games, but it's it's. I think it's it's one of those games that. Yes, you can spend 100 hours by doing absolutely nothing. You can just do whatever you want. You can spend hours. But if you follow just the mission, it'll take you 30, 40 hours. But that's not the best part of the game. The mission is kind of like the like the main course. It's the steak, but the potatoes and yes. the green beans and mashed potatoes. The mission's almost a is. tutorial. The mission is like, just yes. look, you need to know where to go. Just follow the main mission and we'll tell you some things. And your robot will tell you that you that? can build a base or that you'll land at the spaceship and the spaceship guy will tell you you can upgrade your ship. Like that's really your tutorial is the main mission. Yeah. And I think the main mission just facilitates the here's a little bit of direction, but you're going to be bombarded by these all these cool side missions that are going to give you more story than the main you know, the main course. I, I think that's kind of the. A lot of people just for reviewing purposes, and I think that's the, also the other side of it, right? All these people have to review, wanted to review the game before the it channel dropped, public yeah. got, yeah. So like, or before early like, access drop, which was six days right. before the six game dropped. Days. So like, they had to, you know, this game takes you need to take the time to enjoy the game. Like to enjoy the different parts of the game to really like it. Because if you're just trying to burn and churn, get, get to the end of the game to do a review and not really care about side quests and not care about developing all these things that, yeah, the game is going to be like, okay, cool. I did the thing and now it's it's a seven. But like yeah. to me, a seven is like is insane. Like uh, IGN gave it a seven and they gave uh, what's that ridiculous game that I, I played and I didn't like the – uh, you talking other, about the one by oh Death I mean um uh, Death Loop. Death Loop. Death Loop a ten. That game is not a ten. Like I'm, I played that game for maybe like ten hours, and I was yeah. like, this is a very repetitive ass game. But I can give it a 10. And the, you know what I'm saying? Like a 10 for that game, but this game gets a 7? Like, it makes well, I mean, there's a whole sense. there's a whole thing we could go Come on about. Dan. <laughs> there's a whole thing we could go, uh, go on about a review number i hate number reviews anyways like i, I mean too. a seven yeah. essentially means it's a good game so like uh, dm gave it a seven i think dr disrespect said yeah i agree with the seven they all say it, it is a good game it is not a great game and and their biggest problems and gripes are the amount of systems their comparisons are skyrim and fallout that it's not it's 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 not let me lose to explore but it's really interesting to hear them talk about it because then they'll say that and be like, well, but I understand it's also a space game and there were limitations there. And then it, to me, it's like, well, then it's like an eight because like, yeah, there are limitations and there's no way to remove those limitations in a game like this. I, You just you I mean, it's just too big. You can fit Skyrim and Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 on all these like in this game. You can, like yeah. You can, I, I guarantee you these modders are going to be like, you know what? Let's just see what we can do. Let's build yeah, let's just mod Skyrim in, <laughs> into one of the planets. I mean, that's – and then, you know, the, the community for the game is already awesome. They added yeah. DLSS support. Like, this is a couple days in. I think they hit 6 million – players i think that number is going to be astronomical i think uh once people actually play the game and say okay it might not fit everybody and and we you know we talk about time right yeah to me this game is, is worth, worth your time. time yeah yeah a hundred percent it's one of those games that like there's just it's a fun game like i don't know what to tell you it's fun it's also spaceship. not gonna be for everybody so i mean like yeah and there were weird i mean there were absurd expectations for it anyways like trying to make it a better no man's sky or to make it the star citizen whatever or it's uh, not it's not even like, close to those games it's not and then I, it was weird that that narrative 
it never became about like I, I, I was actually talking to you about this too i was like i don't understand why people did that instead of like because it was never advertised as that anyways and th yeah. from the very start this game was advertised as before they even said starfield bethesda's first new ip in 25 years so it, it is a bethesda game yes that's like the the the, the, the whole, they didn't make a new engine they didn't make it it's, nope. it's a game that they they're they make a very specific type of game right and like they made it specific, <laughs> and they made it but it's better than all their other games yeah. to me it takes all the good things that they've done with all their other games and then put it into space polish the game i mean the, like there's no bugs i mean there's there's I'm bugs sure there's but few. there's few. the level of polish like, but, is like beyond yeah, anything they've ever released Astrum, i mean like for this yeah i mean and it's i i'm not a shell for microsoft but i'm sure they they're the reason this happened i'm sure they probably pushed the game yeah. extra you know like i'm, I'm sure if it's so just imagine studio. elder scrolls y'all like if you don't like this because it is too system to just too just too much systems and you just want to be let loose with a sword and fight dragons then Microsoft's help with Elder Scrolls is going to make probably Elder Scrolls like one of the all time greatest games ever made for for you people. And if you were hoping that this was going to be that, too, I think that's where, again, it's it sucks to see the comparisons because like you said, like four times now, like it is its own. It really is its own game. And I 100 percent think five years from now, like people will there will be groups of people who go, man, I love Bethesda. Yeah, Starfield was such a good game. Like, I can't wait for Starfield, too, who don't even care about Elder Scrolls. Like their right. introduction and love for Bethesda is going to come from Starfield. Like this game is going to create a whole other population of fans for bethesda like without a doubt and i went into this game saying it's not going to win game of the year we'll see how good it is and i'm it, it, like for me this could be my game of the year like it, like it's so good like it it's like what did i compare it to what did i oh it's like what i thought mass effect andromeda was going to be like yes, this is like a better yes. mass effect andromeda like it's got a really good story it's got planets that have life that actually like when you go to planets with life on them it's really cool with these like crazy encounters that you may not even see until you're on new game plus three i mean all the things freddy has done like half of them i haven't even seen like it's crazy what? And on, on top of that, I think you look at the fact that like the voice acting is so polished. Oh, it's, for, it's so good. It's never. I mean, they've never done this. Pol the game is very polished. Like yeah. for, and I think it's because they just don't have. There's no limitations to Microsoft's trillion dollars. Like, <laughs> like, here, here's all the money. But can we just talk about like the backlash? Honestly, like I think there's already a pre prejudice to the game because oh, of, of the PlayStation. The PlayStation, PlayStation stuff is, and like, Game insane. Pass. Place yeah, and weirdly like, game pass the, game pass this, game like okay it, it's, <laughs> if this is a game pass game folks this is what's coming in the future sign me up forever like <laughs> right the, uh, like what is the deal with this nonsense backlash for there's you do know there's more people on the playstation you know plus the subscription uh, premium than yeah then 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 um What's it called? Then uh, Game Pass, and and here's the crazy part: they raise the price to one hundred and fifty nine dollars a a year, and if you don't do that, you don't get cloud saving for for PlayStation. Like I'm oh, not I a hater. Not, I, I have a PlayStation. Wait a minute, I didn't know that. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, one fifty nine. <laughs> For the for PlayStation what? Plus now, yeah, I just got a notification. I just uh, set up to cancel. Oh my it's, it's god! Until next, it's next year's. I already, uh, I think it, it starts next month. But I signed up a year. Are they last putting? Month. I mean, they're not. I, 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 no, are they putting first party games. titles? Yeah. No, no yeah. of course not. But the crazy part is, if you don't have the PlayStation, even the whatever the basic, which is whatever money it is, you can, you have zero cloud saving. Like I literally picked up my phone. I have a little thing that I attach my phone to and I played Starfield cloud and it played perfectly and it picked up exactly where I left off. And then I oh, played on cool. the console and it picked up where I left off and then I got on my PC and I was like, Oh look, I'm exactly where he was. Like, but let's just go back to the people's backlash. I, I saw, you know, gamers generally like to play games. I don't know if you knew that Brian, but gamers, I did not No, Gamers and, like to and, talk badly about games loudly on Twitter. That's what gamers like to do. <laughs> But like then you have developers who are also gamers from different companies. Let's just say this wonderful company called Sony. They like to play games too, and some of them are playing Starfield. And the oh, the you talk the, the AP thing. Yeah. Who is like the fire person. this Sony? This she works for Sony, and she's talking about Starfield. Fire her. <laughs> yeah, and then she's like, by the way. A lot of us are playing Starfield. By the way, the head of the head of Sony's playing Starfield. I think he likes the game a lot. <laughs> 
crazy part is like, did you see like you know Phil talking about he played Nintendo games and Sony games and nobody's like, no, Freddy, you cannot have no fun for you. I'm sorry, sir. Are you having fun? No, there will be no fun like had. It is wild that this there's backlash. Look, Sony fanboys, you guys are in the uh, you know you guys have the most market share. And honestly, I'm a PC gamer. Like I have all the consoles, but like I rarely turn on a, a console. Honestly, right. Like, if I do, if Sony the, would put their games on PC, I wouldn't even yeah, own the console. <laughs> exactly. I think they know that. But again, it's like they don't make money off the consoles. They don't. They just don't. I don't understand. Like, it, I mean, everybody has their consoles and it's a great investment for individuals. But for the company, it doesn't make any sense. Like uh, having Nintendo's the only company that makes money off their consoles. Right. So I, I don't know. I, it's a it's a wild time to be alive because we have a ton of fantastic games i mean this year has been absolutely bonkers, oh my god it's and insane. it doesn't end it doesn't. it doesn't end you still have <laughs> cyberpunk dlc coming which is that's a whole other thing you could you could bring up about like starfield 7 i mean and comparisons to cyberpunk people were making i was like y'all cyberpunk was un literally unplayable it was the most massively refunded game like ever people thought cd project red was going to go under like it was not the beautiful game it is today that was from anyways i don't even want to get started with well, that they're, they're showing the comparisons like i'm like do you understand how bad this game was give starfield at least a week like right. you know, for a week <laughs> right like, so about you that you lords of the fallen like liza p uh yeah. i mean like i mean it's this is the most bonkers video game year of all time and the only reason there's all this crap on starfield is simply because of it's what it, it was pulled from sony because it was put on game pass so it was like a double whammy like it was like microsoft bought it it's on game pass it's no longer on sony bad game and it's just like i don't i don't get it either people just are gonna the lose their fine. minds if elder scrolls is xbox only oh my god they're gonna like it's going to be I mean, oh, it just, definitely is. It's the, look at the end of the day, Sony did this to themselves. I mean, it was part of the court case, right? They wanted to make Starfield exclusive for PlayStation, right? And Microsoft, so Microsoft said, just bought the whole studio. Mm, <laughs> uh, I have about a trillion dollars. So how much? Okay, here you go. And we bought the entire company. Like that's what we we are. We are. We're gonna buy the company. Like it's like. Sony just needs to chill out and play nice. I think, why would you? Like, if you're, like, the dominant player, why would you play nice? You want to keep yeah. your dominance, right? But PC is obviously the master race, so... Obviously. I mean, it, that's the... All, all that, I will say, though, just so it's fair. Like, yes, this is... There are, like, some of the problems people have said in this game. They do exist. It's also a yep. massive game. Um, and these problems also exist in other Bethesda games. So some of the AI stuff can be a little wonky. Some of the difficulty stuff is, is weird and combat isn't like your tight call of duty. Uh, I mean, whatever kind of shooter, but, uh, right. in terms of a Bethesda game, it's still easily one of the best, if not the best. Um, I haven't played enough fallout 76 right now to know like how it compares to like that, but in general, in in general, if you if you were just comparing this game against Bethesda's entire library, like you, I mean, I don't see how you don't put it. Maybe it's not your number one, but it's it's got to be top three. I just don't see how it's not. I just don't see how it's not. Even behind all the systems, like I get it. Like systems suck, but it's a space game. You have a spaceship. You have planets. You have things on you those planets. Members. You have you have, yeah. You have crew members. Like there's gonna be systems. I just don't, and I don't. I, I mean, yeah. even Valhalla had systems. Obviously, not as many. I mean, it's it's a, and I, the other thing that was kind of bothering me was like it's light on R RPG, and I'm like, yeah, I, I don't, don't understand that one. I don't think I understand or you understand what RPGs are. Like this game is full of RPG. It's just different parts for different. Each yeah. system has its own. So like, like it's, there's also so much loot in this game. It's bonkers. It's insane. Yeah. So exactly. I, I, that that um, argument, I I don't even know how to address because it's got as much rpg as any other bethesda game has if not more because there's sh the whole ship side to it too like so yeah i don't yeah, just to clarify like i was pretty i was it looked it's exactly what i thought it would be right i, I kind of told you that early on i was like this looks like kind of you know skyrim or fallout in space but like more polished and it's a little different and you were like not about this game you were like i, I don't know man i i really don't think this is going to be the game for them it better be the game because microsoft really needs a win so does you know bethesda has not had a good you know like everybody well, everybody knows bethesda was not doing well like so microsoft right. totally 
did them a W. Saved them. Yeah. Well, and then I think that, that Microsoft took that Redfall on the chin because they knew this was going to be the game, right? God, like, you know they're was... not even off the Redfall train? This is no, a total know, sidebar. Yeah, and they're no, like, they're, Redfall they're, is going to continue to get worked on. People are going to play that game 10 years from now. And I was like, just stop. Just kill the game. Just stop it. I, I mean, I, you know, it, it, like... I think I was a little I like the idea of vampire. I think they if they sold it as, you know, uh what's it called? Far Cry with vampires. Like that was cool. Dude, if Redfall game, pulls a cyberpunk, that would be insane. That would be, be cool. really insane. I mean it'd be cool, man. Anyways, I mean I, that's that's, that's I, not why we're here though, but that's a whole different bag of tricks. But <sighs> I, yeah, dude. Like I just I think that I mean that's some that that really yeah, y'all. I mean, like, I look, I'm not going to sit here and bash people's opinions. You're free to your opinion. And there are plenty of games to compare this to. And I can completely see why somebody who loves like Skyrim and it's uh, a, a very immersive, like just drop in and go does not like Starfield because you have to fast travel and you are you are locked behind like menus to do things. Um and, but I also hope that those, you know, even if you think that way, you give the game a shot because there's just things you're not even going to know because it doesn't tell you. Like, I mean, hell, I just found out today that you can be in your ship and equip your scanner and look at a planet and be able to land on the planet that way. You don't even have to go into the menu. You can just stare at your, oh, the planet. Yeah. Through the scanner. You didn't know that? Yeah, no, I didn't. Little... <laughs> and then you can yeah, see that because I, I kept going into the menus to be like, OK, let me go to my yeah. menu and pick the point I want to go. No, you can just do it through the scanner. You can oh, you, you can't interact with them. So like when you go to toilets, the seats are down and you can't grab them and lift them up. But you can grab a person or uh, uh, anything that is a hard object near you and open the toilet lids. And people were doing this and finding med packs inside the toilets what yeah dude yeah, like that you can't even that you can't even open like that's the craziness of this game like it's that's it's funny. really it's a sandbox is really what it is it's just meant for you to go in and i think even i think even the head of uh, uh pete, is his name pete said that he's like we want you to break the game like go into the game and put thirty thousand potatoes into a room and open the door and see what happens like that was crazy the physics on that were literally insane yeah like you can't do yeah. this in other games so like no but because and of the that, thing too, is like it's going to take not, a while to explore everything. Like, I think that's is. the other side of it, too, is like you don't know what you don't know. The game does not. That's the other thing. The game does not tell you what you can or cannot do. Yeah, you just, you gotta just got to do, do it. Yeah. And then see what oh, happens. Well, yeah. Like, I mean, can you blow up a ship that like with grenades? I mean, I tried. No, you can't. Not with grenades. <laughs> you can damage it. OK, you need like a rocket launcher or something. But um, no, man, I mean, it's cool. And then, you know, there's things that. You land on a planet, does a ship, you want to steal the ship. Well, you can't you can. steal the ship because you can't. Or, yeah. you, have to have, or you don't you have, have, have the have, piloting. <laughs> you don't yeah, have you the don't license. The but apparently, I just read that if you go to New Atlantis, there's like a piloting course. It's like an hour. What? You can max out your. Yeah. I, I, I was. Okay. A video I got to find this because I did this. I, I broke into a ship. It was huge. I was so happy. I killed everyone and I got to the chair and I couldn't pilot it. I was like, what? I didn't know there was yeah. like a whole system to piloting. Yeah, it basically said if you if you can go uh, to like this course on new uh, new Atlantis and and in an hour you go from one to the max. Um, I don't. It's, a, it's I think it's a flight sim. Is what it is. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. But, All right. But, well, yeah. let's we'll 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 I'll we'll stop from bashing thoughts. people's bad. Yeah. Final final thoughts and final thoughts will lead into the last thing I know we want to discuss. So my final thoughts on Bethesda I, I, on on Starfield are. If you're a fan of any Bethesda game, you're doing yourself a disservice not playing it. Sign up for one month of Game Pass. It's like 15 bucks, y'all. Like, holy crap. To play this game for one month for $15 is a steal. And give it a shot. Like, I, I at the end of the day, if you've seen any of my reviews, I don't do scores. I'm not going to score this. I think this game is 100% for people who love Bethesda. They like Bethesda games. You like space RPGs like Mass Effect, and you like exploring things and just like effing around in a game. And if you like any of that, it is beyond worth the value of a $15 one month subscription to Game Pass. And it's very much worth the value of a $70 game. Going to be my I mean favorite Bethesda game of all time. Yeah, I mean, I'm right there with you, man. I think that even if this game was seventy dollars, which it is, you can go buy it for seventy bucks right now. It's worth a hundred to me. Yeah, hundred percent. I just sometimes you know how you, we talked about value and time. To me, this game has enough things to do that are fun 
that are different from the other parts of the game. Like you can yeah. literally go and just explore a world, make friends, join a faction, but then you're like, you know what? I'm bored with this. I'm gonna jump into my my ship and just go explore the entire multiple universes across the entire, you know, multiple star systems, etc. Then you're like, you know what? I'm bored again. Let's go mine yes. some plants, or let's just go murder mm-hmm. people. Let's like, go back to the main, person. or go to the main quest. <laughs> Yeah, and even we then, the we class. didn't even talk about new game plusing because there are powers in the game and you only get six in one playthrough. So then if you want so, all the powers, you got a new game plus. Play it like, again. Yeah, I mean, it's to me, value is there like time, effort is there, fun and uh, available activities to keep you engaged there. Like and again, people game pass is not the downside of gaming like it's like one of the best perks you can probably have it's a it's a rent the to netflix buy, right it's literally the netflix for video gaming it really is and then guess what life of pie uh, lies of pie is like right around the corner oh, yeah, Li- also Liza on P. Game pass. <laughs> life, Liza life P. and lies of p the pie pie the, the pinocchio <laughs> game <laughs> <laughs> whatever lies of p yeah it's like okay. right there too so that does that does mean that means i have one question for you that i, I was curious about because i don't have an answer for this Obviously, Microsoft, I mean, consoles in general, they use AMD Um, and Starfield. Even someone asked on Bloomberg, somebody asked like Pete, is it Pete Hines? Is that the guy's name? Um, They asked they asked him if they were like the most common uh, question that we have from our community and and in here right now is why was this game not optimized for PC? (laughs) And he was like, it is. But maybe you need to go buy a new PC or something. I was like, "Eh." Because I do wonder, like, why was NVIDIA not on this, especially since it took only one hour for that uh, modder to get DLSS 2 on here? Um, And do you do you think that's a pay thing? You think that's a sponsorship thing? Because like, oh, yeah, yeah. uh, uh, Oh, yeah. First off. Yeah. So. Consoles, all both PlayStation, Xbox, even the Steam Deck all run on AMD. I think so. Nintendo does, too. Yeah, Nintendo. No, Nintendo is, I think, is on Nvidia. They're oh, okay. using a t- Tigris or Tigris, whatever the. But, um, so it made sense to partner up with Starfield, you know, with the with this game specifically because a, it's a big game. B, they already have a partnership with them on the console side, and C, they're trying to push FSR, uh, FS, uh, FSR three and frame generation, but it's, it's just not. Yeah, but that's not out yet. It's not. They're at two point five is going to be released for consoles, which should oh, okay. Yeah, it should significantly increase you know frame rates, etc. Yeah. But well, and you know, I wonder too because like I did the mod, I did the D, I have a forty series, so I did the DLSS three mod, and I went from sixty frames per second to one hundred twenty. Like so clearly that that I mean like that's just weird. That's just weird that that a performance well, it's, existed it's, it's, for it's, me, but. It, but it's optimized for AMD. So like if you have an AMD card, like in 6800 TX or whatever, like you're, you're, you're jelly. Like everything plays perfectly, but they don't uh-huh. have, I think it's also like, yes, they could, they could have added the uh, DLSS on there, but you know what? I'm sure, you know, AMD greased their palms a little bit. Like, Hey, listen, the modders will take care of this part. Just, right. uh, just they did, it, they did it within the, a day. Like <laughs> it was like, and here's not DLSS. Just, not just DLSS. They also they also did the Intel XSS or whatever. It oh is, yeah, the, the, the XSS thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. XSS. Yeah. So, I mean, look, that that I think it was a smart move to me because if on PC, it's, it's, it wouldn't make a difference on console, but on PC, the modern the modern group is where it's at, right? They'll oh, yeah, okay. anything that's missing, they'll add. And then they still get their money, right? Yeah, but it's weird so, to see AMD too, because isn't I mean, isn't Nvidia the Sony of graphics cards? I mean, don't aren't they like the market share holder of? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's like, hey, want to be friends? Um, but yeah, and they just they're coming out with this new card, the seventy eight hundred or sub, I think it was seventy eight hundred, and the reviews are not great. So or know. AMD. Yeah, the new video yeah. card. It's it's slightly better, it's slightly faster, but it's just not. It's not in the same realm as the forty ninety or whatever. Yeah, it is much cheaper. It's like under a thousand dollars for the newest AMD card. Mm, I mean, look at the end of the day, if they are able to add that to the console, uh, 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 the FSR is already great for consoles. Not, it's not nearly. It's not even on the same plain as dlss because dlss is hardware accelerated where right um it's software uh, for amd right yeah yeah AI so it's, it's, it's cpu based i'm sorry so the amd one is, is based on your cpu too 
Well, it's 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 software based that runs on your you know it, it uses resources on both the video card oh, okay. and but it's it's going to be yeah it's going to rely on your CPU probably. Wow. Um I don't know the details just yet, but it, it, for console because it's a shared cores and memory between uh the the entire system I'm sure it's going to work well. I think it, if you're I think that's where we're going to get the 60 frames. I think uh, yeah. going from 1440p to 4K I mean, the performance at boost I got from DLSS3 was monstrous. I was like, wow, the, like this game went from like, oh man, I'm at like I'm barely the scratching 60 right? to 120. Yeah, the frame generation is crazy. Yeah. So, and that's what the FSR3 does is frame regeneration plus uh, AI generated uh, AI yeah. scaling or whatever. AI is, scaling, but, yeah. Okay. But yeah, we'll see, man. I mean, I think again, people are like, "Oh, thirty. It's it takes time to unlock all the features in in the consoles." <clears throat> yeah. And it's AMD. I'd be curious. I don't know why. It's probably cheaper that they went with AMD. It's over Nvidia. Over Nvidia. Like, yeah. You think? Yeah. I mean, I wonder if they'll add it. I wonder if they'll just like patch in Nvidia support or not even bother now that that mod's out. No, I would, I would, I would definitely, I wouldn't even consider it. I think, I think you yeah. let the modders do it. I mean, I don't think any of the games currently out have Nvidia support. I think every single one they've made is AMD centric. Oh, is it? No, I mean, I was gonna I say, so. a lot of AMD games don't have it. Like, I think, I think, uh, I think the Star Wars game might have just added it. They did some really giant patch oh, to right. the new yeah, Star yeah, Wars yeah. game, and I think they That's just put exactly in- it. Yeah. No, but it's been what six months since. since oh, it's been like out? for forever. Yeah, that's another yeah. game I haven't even beat. <laughs> it's in my backlog. It's a really good game too, and it's like literally just sitting in my like long list of backlog. Eternals, and I mean, there's a list of games that you just do not have, like. You're telling me how you just been drinking coffee and trying to play. Games. Yeah, pretty much. I've been like <laughs> sipping on coffee, staying up till midnight to like get through video games and create content for YouTube. So, but that, but then Starfield came, and you're like, haha. By the way. Yeah, I like, and know. I love this game. Like, it's the only thing I want to play. Like, I want to play it right now, but I have to go leave to get my dog and my daughter and do dad things and then make dinner and then be a dad again and then wait and sit on the couch and look at my watch and be like, can I go play Starfield yet? And then be like, how about everybody go to bed early? And then I feel bad about making everybody go to bed early so I can play a video game. It's vicious. It's a vicious cycle. <laughs> and then there's self loathing and then and self loathing. So, and then they're staring at your computer like, uh, should I even start it? About an hour, put everybody to bed, and then like after like an hour of that, I finally play. <laughs> <laughs> or you fall asleep. You're like, cool. I'm. Uh, or yeah. I'm or you fall asleep. Bed. Gaming in your 30s is getting everything ready and then hitting hitting the the couch or the chair and falling asleep before you even get started. Yeah, that's that's just sounds about right. Yeah, and we're on the backside of 30, so. Yeah. Fuck you. All right. Um. What do you got? <laughs> you got anything else to close us out here? Um, well, we, we always tend to do a, an opinionated. Well, we like just a did pointed. a big opinion. The pointed thing is Starfield <laughs> is great. You're all idiots. That's my opinion. Um, <clears throat> I think that I think Sony needs a big year next year. I think Sony needs to come out with their guns blazing because I don't think this year was their year. They still sold a metric ton of consoles. That's they still no have games. the games. I mean, they got, they yeah, got they're, they're, all they're they're Spider-Man. Games. Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man's coming out at the end of the year. But again, I mean, like... No, this that, comes out in October. That, next month. Next month. Okay, well, I feel... Man, listen, I don't... Time is a... I've been in, <laughs> I've been, I've been in space for a long time. I don't know when it uh, is right now. Uh, between your daughter yeah, and, a, and Starfield. Oh, uh, dude. I love my daughter. Guys, I love... Uh, uh, daughter, if you're watching this 20 years from now, I love oh, you. Oh, yeah, totally she you. is. Because you're dead, you know, 20 years. <laughs> the world... The world... I don't even know why we're dead, but... I just put real grim there. All right. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Well, I think we covered. I think we absolute, got it. Yes. So this is Microsoft our this is the, star, the Starfield rendition. Us. Yes, if you want to pay us. All right, y'all. Um, this has been the Starfield rendition of the OGs. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, next week we will be back on track for our 10 a.m. Um, and I'm hoping to actually get into the conversation of FPS because I still think that's pretty relevant, especially today. And we have a buddy who I really want to bring on who uh, actually gets nauseous when he doesn't play games at 60 FPS. So I think that's an interesting take uh, for a guy who only also plays PlayStation games. So look forward to that. And in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, follow, tweet, and whatever, all the other things. I don't know. Follow us on all the other other uh, things. 
things. Uh, <laughs> Click the buttons, hit the plays, and Run subscribe Spotify. to my follow YouTube. Us on yeah, Spotify. follow us on Spotify <laughs> <laughs> because you like to listen to this nonsense. All right, Hello. all right, Freddie, let's get out of here. Yeah, later, everybody. All right, guys, thank you. See ya.